We continue to track the contamination of hundreds of homes on the Colorado smelter site in Pueblo. And tonight, the EPA has signed off on a $43 million cleanup plan. This comes nearly three years after the site was added to the national priorities list of Superfund sites. Newsize Laura Wilson joins us in our Pueblo studio with more on this. Laura. And we're talking specifically about the Eilers and Bessemer neighborhoods. Over the last few years, the EPA has come out to the Superfund site to test for lead and arsenic in people's yards. Now, they also tested inside about 25 homes just last year. I spoke with an EPA official who told me the results they got back from those homes was alarming enough to push them forward with this current cleanup plan that they've approved. And starting in 2018, the EPA will come in with the permission of the homeowner and remove contaminated soil down to a depth of a foot and a, and a half from more than 800 homes. They also plan to remove contaminated dust from inside homes as well. Now we spoke with some of the people tonight who had samples taken from their homes and yards and they had no idea this cleanup plan had been approved. Well, I think it's a good idea if they're going to try to expedite the process. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Tell you the truth, I thought it was uh, a done deal. I thought they came in, they did what they had to, and case closed. So it's good that they're following up on it. Specifically, the homes they'll be cleaning up are ones that show lead levels that are at least 350 parts per million in the soil or 275 parts per million in the dust that was tested. And for arsenic, it's an even lower number at 61 parts per million in soil or dust. And as we said, cleanup should begin in January 2018, and those more than 800 property owners will be contacted between now and then. Rob, Elizabeth, back to you.